we have another item reveal, which means a lot more information about the bazaar. Let's jump in. But my mother said I'm the best. Flamethrower today. Flamethrower. One of Dooley's spiciest items. A Dooley item? Okay. As per usual, we'll quickly go through the video, and then I'll go back through and check all the little bits out as we go. That's how we got the flamethrower. Yeah, it was a nice little concept. Oh, I like the way that the enchantment sort of goes Flame around the item. Flamethrower is a classic dually burn item. Okay, burn item makes sense. Lots I only of see two versions of that. Normally we see three. Do, it damages a player twice per second. Okay, we know burn. Burn the damages something twice per second. The bizarre is by damaging players. The number goes down as the player burns, but any burn effect can add to it. Okay. Burn stacks. So kind of similar how to there how it used to work. ways to increase the damage of your weapons in the bazaar. When you make flamethrower do more damage, it does more burning. So this could function in a build, being your only burn item. Oh, okay. So it's like a hybrid item, I guess. You face a graduate of the dueling academy. <laughs> what a voice line. Flamethrower might be, might be OP. Hmm. But my mother said I'm the best. <laughs> That's a voice line we need to keep. All right. Let's dive into this one. I don't think it was too much to reveal right at the start. Flamethrower. This is the platinum version of it. So this is the highest rank version it can be. Flamethrower is a medium weapon and tool that every five seconds deals four damage and then burns equal to 300% of this item's damage. So really good scaling on the burn there. This is, like I said, the platinum version. I assume the bronze version maybe does 100% or maybe the silver version if we only get it at silver. Um, so let's skip on ahead to uh, concept art. It's cool. We love to see the concept art. Uh, we always love seeing this sort of thing. The enchanted art, as I was sort of saying as that we went through the preview, uh, I really like how the effects sort of glow around uh, the flamethrower. Like it, it doesn't completely cover it, but it's also not just like in the background. It actually has some sort of interaction with the items that so they've gone a little bit deeper than just putting some background on. Like obviously, well not obviously, I'm going to go ahead and assume that these are because they're applied en masse to a bunch of items, they must have like a more automated way of doing it. Otherwise, that's going to be a lot of man hours sunk in. Um, but I do like that they've paid attention to like allow it to sort of uh, sort of eclipse bits of the item and actually sort of work around it. Uh, here we have this like, I don't know, sparking energy type thing. Um, I have no idea what this could be. Maybe dazing? It has that, that sort of like sparkly effect. So maybe it dazes. Uh, and you could equally say the same for the rainbow effect. Maybe the rainbow effect also dazes. Um, or maybe the rainbow effect applies like poison and burn and daze. And maybe it, maybe it applies like a tiny amount of everything. Um, trying to think of like colorful things that we have in the bazaar so far. But yeah, those are the two enchanted arts we got to see. And as they've said before, I'll get into this in a second. As they said before, the um, enchantments that we'll get most enchantments will be available for most items so every time we see new enchantments we'll be able to see a flamethrower with the healing version that we had in the last uh reveal right we'll see a sniper rifle that has this like rainbow effect um so we're we're adding to our knowledge of these things yeah so here we go we see we get we're gonna get to see a gold and a platinum version of the flamethrower um always five seconds uh the damage on this one doubles really so base of two damage becomes base of four damage so that means the silver version is one damage and burn equal to 100 percent every five seconds really not that strong as a silver item if there is a bronze ver okay so if there is a silver and bronze version the way i can see this happening is that at uh at silver it will still deal two damage but a hundred percent of burn as damage or a damage as burn uh and then at bronze it'll be one and one hundred percent um but regardless the bronze and or silver versions 
don't seem particularly strong unless you focus on pumping up that damage number so that you can pump up the burn or put other burn items aside it, right? Um, and then if you can get this to higher levels, like, yeah, a, a platinum flamethrower, you can absolutely carve a build around. Um, they're not really showing us much else here. We've got these, uh, what, father, son, um, merchant thing going on here. Dooley's at 150 health. That's about what we can see. Plus five to that. Um, the income, I think we decided that was. Okay, so here are some other items. Another small, uh, another burn item we can add to it are the thrusters, which is a small item, no other archetypes. Every six seconds, gain two speed for this fight and burn two. So every six seconds, you're applying two burn uh, and gaining two speed. And I'll jump in here and just go over something Rain I covered quickly while he was going through the video. Is how burn works. How burn is working in the bazaar is you apply it as a stack. So thrusters will apply two burn. Then every second, that will tick twice. So every half a second, it ticks, right? When it ticks, it deals damage equal to the burn stack number on the enemy. And then the burn stack number decreases by one. So if you burn two, in the first half second tick, it will deal two damage and tick down to one burn. And then the next half second, it'll deal one damage because the stack is at one and then tick down to zero. And then you don't have any burn anymore. So two burn over one second does three damage. Four burn, which would, would deal four damage on the first tick. So four burn would go out in two seconds. Half the number of the burn is how long it lasts. So over two seconds, burn does four, three, two, and one damage. So that's what, seven, 10, right? Is that quick maths? Yes, it does 10 damage. Uh, there must be a simple calculation. If anyone has like a simple way of figuring out how much damage burn is worth let me know because that'd be a great thing to know uh but just in general that's sort of what you're looking at um and of course it does stack so if you applied two burn and then before it ticked out you also applied another four burn you'd have six burn and then that would tick down that way or if your two burn ticked down once and then you applied four more burn it would jump back up to five burn and then tick down uh so it's going to be this sort of almost like a meter or a, like a uh, a track that's sort of going up and down like you're trying to stack up burn but it's ticking down all the time doing damage so thrusters another oh, nice little small item to throw in uh we see we recently did a dually video covering the basics of dually if you haven't seen go check out the channel and if you haven't yet subscribed for all things bizarre you probably should um but dually's core whenever the dually's core triggers uh it advances items to its right by one second um, advance being sort of skips that amount of cooldown. So thrusters was six seconds cooldown and flamethrower was five. So if this triggers, th it, this would skip and effectively become a four second cooldown that time round, and this would skip and become a five second cooldown that time round. Uh, inversely, if they'd been put on the left hand side, every time they trigger, it advances the core. So in this build, they've decided they want to go all out on burning, and the core is just there to boost these items, which I think is pretty normal. Uh, then we've got some sort of vault and some scrap metal. Um, this vendor has the bag. This is an item, right? It's a, a Pygmalion item. And then he hovers this... Uh, yeah, <laughs> for some reason we get the zoom in and they hover tempering. Oh, I guess because this scales on burning. When I saw this happen in the video, I was like, why are they doing this? Because I hadn't fully read the flamethrower ability. But now it makes a lot more sense. So when you use a weapon this fight, give it three damage. Or when you use a weapon, give it three damage for this fight. Uh, and the flamethrower is a weapon, so when you use it, uh, it'll go from two damage to three damage. And then this golden one would go from doing sorry, would go from two damage to five damage. And this uh, burn would go from four burn to ten burn because it's double. It's two hundred percent at gold, two hundred percent of your damage. Um, so that's on the next trigger. And then when it triggers again, it goes up to eight damage. So 16 burn and just gets stronger and stronger. So that's a really nice combo to have with uh, with Flamethrower there. And that is a hero skill. So that doesn't even take up slots on your board. You do have to go to different merchants or events to get skills as far as we know. Um, maybe they've added some hybrid ones in. Uh, here's like an NPC that we're burning. Look at this beautiful like burning fire effect. Uh, and you can see it absolutely destroying this guy. So yeah, we saw... Oh, they've got cooldown timers on here, right? Is that what these are? No. Oh, that was one of their items triggered, this thing. 
and applied something. Can I go back until it... I saw this out of the corner of my eye while I was looking at the burning. Goes... And applies this to all three of their items. And then for 1.5 seconds, something is applied to it. Maybe it's like a slow or something. Yeah, it was a slow. You see that bar difference? Uh, can I like... So, you see how fast this bar triggers? And now slower. And then watch it go faster again. So, this thing is applying slow. And the slow appears on here. Uh, the thrusters have been slowed this whole time. They've got another slow applied to them. So, there must be some... Maybe this. Because this has just appeared, right? Oopsie. Maybe this... Yeah, okay, so this NPC that you fight is like must be like a, a slowing NPC. Uh, and just... Oh, no, they must have that sort of thing, right? We've seen the Flame Juggler already, or heard of the Flame Juggler. I bet they have like different archetypes for all of their monsters. And it makes sense, right? The Bazaar is all about building synergies, so of course you'd have synergistic opponents. Um, but it'd be interesting to see like, like when you're choosing who to go after. They've said multiple times in the past, like when you when you fight an NPC, you have a chance to take what they have. So if you're if you're doing a slow build and you see this little bug appear, you're like, yes, I will fight this bug because I know both of these items apply some sort of slow to the enemy. Uh, and maybe it's power does as well, I don't know. Um, so that's a really cool uh, thing we can get. There's the burn ticking it down. I don't think we really saw much else in that fight. Here's another item. The core arm is a medium weapon, uh, and every four seconds at its golden tier deals 10 damage. Uh, when this weapon gains haste, give this and the weapon to the left plus five damage for the fight. So when this weapon gains, when this gains haste, give this and the weapon to the left plus five damage for the fight. Interesting. So it's kind of, it's forcing you to set up your board in a specific way, right? Because in order to haste this item, I assume you have to put an item to it, one of its sides that says haste items next to this, right? Uh, or you need an item that hastes everything. But I assume they're few and far between, or I hope they are. So to guarantee haste on this, you'll probably want something to the side of it that gives it haste. Um, or something that like hastes your rightmost item, right? Uh, so you, you know what needs to be to the right of the claw. It needs to be the hasting thing. And the thing to the left of the claw has to be the thing you want it to boost. So those three slots or those three like um, like placements are locked in. Uh, you, and then on top of that, you have Dooley's core. Like, okay, I want, like I'd kind of like one of these items to make the core trigger faster. So I went to the left, but then I want the core to make all of these trigger faster. So on the right, it's there's going to be a lot of placement uh, concepts going into the bazaar. And I am here for it. Anyway, yeah. A uh, really good combo with uh, with the flamethrower because it's going to boost it by 5 damage. Uh, and that's only when this gains haste, right? So while this does trigger quite quickly, um, maybe there's something that gives haste when they trigger. Because this is a quite fast trigger as well. Uh, that'd be really good. But yeah, if you can have something that's just piling haste into this thing um, on a shorter cooldown, then uh, that's, that's going to be really good for this. And there it is, right? <laughs> As we, were just, we went on this whole freaking arc about, uh, about placement. Cog, a small tool every four seconds at its silver tier, haste an adjacent item for one second. Um, I wonder what the tier difference does. Does it make it haste faster or haste more? Like, does the tiering turn this from four? Like, is there a bronze version that's five seconds and a platinum version that's two seconds? Or is it silver only with... Haste one, haste for one second at silver, two seconds at gold, three seconds at uh, platinum. We'll not never know. We'll know at some point. And then here we go, the flamethrower. This is something worth pointing out, by the way. We've seen this over a couple of uh, of these videos now, but I've never sort of mentioned it. When you have an item that is available to be upgraded, like the the store is selling the same item, there's this little animation that plays, the little up arrows. It's just tiny little things like that. You don't think they matter, but it's all these small little things that make games feel so polished. Um, 
think about like the most polished games that come to mind, right? Maybe like Overwatch 1. I don't know what state Overwatch 2 is in. Uh, but all the small, tiny little things, like the little audio cues that go off to let you know stuff is happening, uh, the little visual cues, uh, you know, just like the like the little arrows that you follow on the ground and stuff just to, to go, go the right direction uh, on some of the maps. Like, these tiny little things really, really add up, and I'm glad to see them here. This is now 4.5 seconds. Why is that? Do one of these items that we have make things channel faster? I don't believe seeing the gold version tr trigger faster. I mean, we've got platinum now. Did you just click the trees in the corner and fire a... <laughs> okay, so toys exist, or at least maybe they got rid of toys and replaced toys with boards. And maybe boards have interactive elements. That would be a smart move. Anyway, then we've got the premium duelist. I need to go back after this and uh, record their uh, voice line because it was hilarious. Um, the premium duelist will give us seven gold. Uh, one, I'm not sure. Maybe XP, right? We're gamers, we like XP. Uh, and then one, I guess you get one of his things. Maybe this is the icon for one of their things. Uh, he's level five, we're level five. Uh, I wonder if this one's like level four and this one's level six or how they how they work that out. So now we get to see this board that we've just built in action. Uh, oh wait, we see this triggering. I was saying how like visual cues are really good. We see this like tempering thing, whatever, I can't remember the name of the abilities. I'm not going to remember the name of all the abilities. Remembering names of all the cards is hard enough. Uh, but yeah, this like tempering ability, when the claw triggers, so remember this gives you plus three damage to your weapons when they trigger. This is doing like a little flash to let you know that it's triggered. Uh, this also flashed your gold. Oh, I see because we took a bunch of his gold by doing damage. That makes sense. Uh, and then his ability is flashing because he did something. There's like a sword on his profile. So he, did he get stronger? Did he have 10 strength to start with? Let's go back a bit. Oh, he had 10 strength to start with. I have no idea what his ability is doing then. Um, but then our flamethrower triggers. That's doing 7... Well, it was doing 56, I think. Or did it straight do 75? How did we get to 87 burning? He must have been at some already, right? Yeah, okay. He already had some burning stacks. But yet then we did a, ch a ton of extra. Uh, and now he's ticking for like... He's sticking for like 88 here and he only has 100 health left. So this guy is D-E-D -E -D dead. Um, I couldn't see anything like crazy that his items were doing. Um, this thing has just triggered and seems to be doing a lot of 25 damage all at the same time. Yeah. So... I don't know what that's about. It just used one of its ammo. The revolver's ammo goes off the edge. I wonder if there's like a limit to... This is actually a really clever way of doing this, right? Because you could hover the card and see how much ammo you had. But to display it on the card, there's a, at a certain point, there's like information overload, right? Like... I don't need to try and figure out, I don't need like 27 tiny dots to figure out that my resolve, my revolver has 27 ammo, you know? I'm not going to sit there going 1, 2, 3, 4. Like, if, if you want to know that detail, you can hover the card. So when it comes to having more than, what is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, when it comes to having more than 6 ammo, maybe more than 7 ammo, because you could probably fit 7, maybe, if you budge them slightly. Anyway, once you have over a certain ammo, if you could just display that it has more than this amount of ammo, that's probably enough for like just at a glance on a card, right? I can clearly see from here that the throwing knives are out of ammo. This like sword blade thing has two ammo left and is dealing a lot of damage every time it goes off. Uh, and that the revolver has at least six ammo left. So it's going to trigger probably as many times as it needs to before the end of the fight, because we're about to die. Uh, we being the preening duelist. But yeah, I think that's another 
this i don't know maybe i'm just in a, like a visual mood today uh but I'm, I'm liking a lot of the visual cues they're doing here very very good and that's all we've got from that one 